Welcome back to The Morning Show. And if you saw a recent article released, not with new information though, I'm learning now, that seniors are, you know, one of the leading causes for them making trips to the hospital is falling. And unfortunately, that's just a common thing that's happening. But Helen's here to make sure we can do everything in our possible realm of reality to make sure that we keep them on their feet as much as possible. So Helen, thank you so much for coming in. We really do appreciate this. You're very welcome. So first off, how did you get involved into the Ogham Public Health and wanting to help with seniors keeping them standing up? Well, I'm a public health nurse that mm -hmm. works at Algoma Public Health, and I work in the Stay on Your Feet strategy. So this is a strategy that spans the Northeast region, so that includes the five public health units in the North, Algoma, Sudbury, North Bay, Timmins, Timiskimi, and Perry Sound. And we all work together with the Northeast Lynn in trying to promote the Stay on Your Feet message. So the message is simple. It's stay active, stay independent, stay on your feet. Right, and those are all three great things, three really, really important things when it comes to the overall health of anybody, but especially seniors. So when this plan, when did you guys know that this plan needed to be something that needed to be made and something that you knew can make a difference in people's lives? Well, we've known that seniors um, and older adults have a greater chance of falling. And uh, the statistics, as you know, as you mentioned from the report, have shown that um, a lot of seniors are hospitalized, make visits to the emergency room because they've had a fall. Was it 81% of seniors that fall, which is about four out of five, are going to the hospital because they're falling? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And when we look at uh, where they fall, we see that 28% of falls happen in their home. 14% um, happen in institutional care. So a lot of ho homes can be made more safe um, in hopes of making them um, preventable falls. And some of the things that you've come across in the homes for being dangerous, or maybe some precautions people can look forward to to look and see what they can do to help, what are some of the things that you guys have come across? Well, I, in our, our strategy, we've worked really hard to put together uh, what we call a home safety checklist. Mm -hmm. And the home safety checklist actually goes through every room in the person's home, and you can go through it and analyze your home and see whether or not there are areas that you can improve. So every room, including the bathroom, the living room, even your outside, your porch, your walkways, your, your garage, places you may not think could be a hazard for falling are all included in the home safety checklist, which is available free. Mm -hmm. You can come to the health unit or you can call and, and have one mailed out to you. Oh, so right. it's certainly available to the public. We encourage you to get one. Yeah, here it is right here. I've got one. It's actually really well designed, super simple. Audrey, do you actually mind coming and get a camera shot of this guy? Just so I can get a nice close up of it. A home safety checklist, stay active, stay independent, and stay on your feet. Super easy stuff. It goes through each part of the home, your entrance, your home in entirety, living space, kitchen. And you said you guys can actually send these out to people if they're looking to kind of better their home? Absolutely, absolutely. Available for everybody. Now, the Northeast region is all inclusive. But was When you were making this plan, did you guys talk to each one of the individual healthcare providers in these different places? Well, we've talked to all the health units. Mm -hmm. So we meet on a regular basis and we talk about what are the concerns in everybody's communities. So any of the messaging that goes out with the Stay on Your Feet strategy basically is uniform across the Northeast. Mm -hmm. region. So we all say the same message, we promote the same commercials, the same posters, everything, all the initiatives that go about uh, the strategy are all the same. All right, and we, there's a lot of things that we can do to help make a senior's home uh, more risk-free, but what if those seniors want to go and maybe get a little bit more active themselves? I know there's a few programs available throughout the city. Absolutely, absolutely. So in the community, in uh, in Sault Ste. Marie specifically, uh, we I coordinate the Stand Up Exercise Program, and that program is a available to older adults, 65 plus. Mm -hmm. It's a free exercise program. You pre-register by calling myself at the health unit. It runs for 12 weeks and it's basically focused on increasing muscle strength and balance. So that's what you'd like. Mm -hmm. You'd like people to be stronger so that they can hopefully prevent falls by being stronger individuals. Uh, they focus on the nine preventable modifiable risk factors, uh, which we probably don't have time to talk about today. <laughs> right. Uh, but there are various areas that we talk about in the program that help people highlight ways that they can stay on their feet. So that's one way, the Stand Up Exercise Program. There's also another program that's coordinated through the Victorian Order of Nurses, or the VON, in the community, a free exercise program as well on a drop-in basis, and that is more of a seated exercise program. So it doesn't have um, 
it's a good way, it's a good segue into stand up, right. basically. To get you moving, to get some exactly. muscles going and getting you a little bit stronger, getting you ready for it. Exactly, because we know that motion is the lotion for our joints. Ah, <laughs> I like that, I like that. So we want to make sure that people stay active, they stay moving, because that's one of the best ways that we can actually stay on our feet. And you were saying a lot of people that take these programs are doing it and making it more of a social thing too. Absolutely, absolutely. You're, you're bound to make a friend. Mm -hmm. You're bound to have that social interaction. Some of them have uh, a little social get together after the 12 weeks are done and they continue to do things together. They may have a walking group, they may get together and they may have a cycling group. So there, there's ways that you can actually build in your social interactions by having a program like Stand Up. What would you say to maybe a senior that's watching at home right now that's thinking, you know what, this sounds right, but I'm a little nervous. I'm a little, I'm not sure if I want to do it. What would you say to them? Well, there are, there is one other option. Oh. There's another program that is called From Soup to Tomatoes, and you may find that a little amusing. Right. Uh, but it was developed by a diabetic educator in Espanola, and it's a program that you can actually do in your own home. So if you are not that person that likes the group environment and they want to go out and exercise with a whole bunch of people, mm -hmm. then it's certainly one way that if you have a computer and you can get on YouTube, it's a great program that builds your muscle strength in the privacy of your own home. Mm -hmm. And you're watching this right now on the internet, so I can only assume you'd have access to YouTube at the same time. But can you tell us a little bit why it's called Soup to Tomatoes? Because that was just such a foreign idea to me. Absolutely. Um, Everybody has cans of soup in their home. Yes, of course. So the uh, the premise was to use the soup cans as weights to help build muscle strength, and then you build yourself up to cans of tomatoes. Right, the heavier weights, and you get a exactly. little bit stronger, get that nice healthy pump on, get that summer bod rocking for sure. For sure. For sure. Now, how, how is the, the development of someone that's maybe started with a little bit off balance? Have you seen anybody grow and actually become a little bit more independent for themselves? Well, we try to um, encourage people to give us a bit of a testimonial when they finish stand-up. And that has proven to be very successful because individuals see um, each other and themselves making a lot of progress from the time they do a pretest when they start the program at a post test after so they've seen the the difference that it makes if they commit to the program there are three parts so you come to class you basically have the um, the discussion pieces and then there's homework to do so you have oh, to practice at home maybe you shouldn't have said that maybe <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have told them there's we any homework we can call to do. it something else but homework is you do it at home mm -hmm. and basically they have to practice their exercise Okay. And those that are committed do very, very well. Really? Yes. So that's good to see. So that's going to be the first step in preventing people from falling. And I mean, that's going to be such a huge re relief on maybe the hospital shoulders. Just one less thing that they know people are doing to take care of themselves, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. So in our closing moments, we've only got a minute left. What would you say to someone right now that's going, hmm? you know what, I think I want to check it out. What would be their first step to getting on board with one of these programs? Well, they can certainly give me a call mm -hmm. at the health unit. We could talk about what's a good fit for them in terms of exercise, and hopefully uh, that'll be on the, the road to uh, a better, healthier lifestyle where they can stay active, stay independent, stay on their feet. And what about me, someone with grandparents, what can I do to make sure that I can help them even when I'm not around necessarily? Good point. Um, family members play a very important role in keeping their older, um, their parents and their grandparents healthier. You can certainly go through the home safety checklist. You can, um, you know, have that conversation with them about ways to make their home more safe. Helen, thank you so much for coming in on this Wellness Wednesday. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And if you want to come in and keep us safe, I would love to have you back on again, and I'm sure Tim will. But we'll have you back right after this commercial break.